Okay folks, uh, now in this lesson I'm going to be creating the material that we have applied to, to these classic uh, frames here. This one, if you take a look closely, or this one down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that material. So let's uh, zoom in here, and here are our frames, open them up. And we have three frames, this one, these classic frames, this one, and this one. So let's create the first material. That's going to be our classic frame. Open it up. Uh, just misspelled it. So let's go ahead. Classic frames. I'm going to use this color 41, 40, 36 as my diffuse uh, color. Then I'm going to my uh, specular layer and decrease it a bit. Let's go ahead and increase different layer art something like 30. Let's use dirt number two as our a texture map for our reflection. Change the type because we're creating a metal to ward. And decrease the effect of this to something like 13. Now let's go ahead and drag this shader here. Uh, let me just go ahead and decrease the overall uh, glossiness to something like 0.85 and reduce the effect of this texture to something like 0.33 or 34, 35, whatever. Close. Great. And also I'm going to increase the subdivision here to something like 16. Great. So that's our base layer. And we can go ahead and apply it. So let's go ahead and apply that here and here. Let's see what we have here. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to get. The reflections and everything is going to be a bit weird uh, because obviously we don't have, uh, we basically have hidden everything in the scene except for what we have in front of us, this set here. So the reflections might look a bit weird, but they're going to be fine when we actually go for our final render. Okay, so this is our uh, basic material, and I'm going to add a layer of dirt. So this way we make sure that it looks a bit more aged. Let's go ahead and create a quick very advanced material. And I'm going to use a dark color. 62 uh, gray or about 24 percent of gray value would be enough and in our material weight i'm going to use a dirt shader so let's change this to dirt let's uh, decrease the amount of something like two and also turn on the consider same object only so uh, it is not going to get affected by the other uh, objects in our scene and I'm going to use dirt 7 here. Now let's, uh, before actually applying this dirt, I'm going to see how this dirt number 7 is going to be uh, viewed on our material. So let's create a new quick Cinema 4D material. I'm going to apply dirt 07. And let's go ahead and apply it to our frame. That's what we have at the moment not that interesting really so I'm going to change it to cubic and let's see maybe 50 50 25 percent uh, I think that's interesting so let's go ahead and apply this dirt shader on top of this one and uh, let's delete one of them make sure you have the mix texture turned on and you can safely delete this material now great let me uh, save the scene now let's quickly render this and see what we have. Okay, definitely it's much more nicer this one. And uh, what we can do also is to add a bit of specularity to this dirt material that we just created. So it will match better with the base material, but I don't think it's going to be that necessary. We're just trying to uh, make the nooks and crannies to be a bit darker of this material. So it would just work fine for, uh, you know, by what we have. So I'm not going to change it that much perfect so we have this nice uh, antique material here
Great, so that's about it. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. It was a free sample from our course Realistic Interior Visualization in V-Ray Force Cinema 4D Industrial Style Room. Make sure to visit our website and check the entire course out. It's an amazing and really useful course. And also make sure to check out our other uh, premium tutorials at mographplus.com, including Ed1 3D Motion Graphics in Cinema 4D and RealFlow, comprehensive introduction to Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D, comprehensive introduction to Very for Cinema 4D, creating Ed1 3D Motion Graphics in Cinema 4D and After Effects, Cubicle Project, Box Project, and Gift Project, and also the Industrial Style Room.